Have you ever pushed a swing to get it going? Or stopped your scooter with your foot? Then you already know, forces can do a lot of things. Today we're going to learn what forces can do to objects. Remember, a force is a push or a pull. And when you use a force, it can make something move, stop, speed up, slow down, change direction, or even change shape. Let's try some examples. Imagine you have a soccer ball. If it's just sitting still, and you give it a little kick, it starts rolling. The force made it move. If the ball is already rolling, and you put your foot in front of it, it stops. That's a force too. So forces can start things moving and also make them stop. Now imagine you give the ball a small kick and it rolls slowly. But what happens if you kick it really hard? It goes much faster. That's because the force was stronger. When you use a big force, the object moves faster or goes farther. That's called magnitude. A big word that means how strong the force is. Forces can also change the way something is moving. If you tap the ball from the side, it might start going in a new direction. You didn't stop it, you just made it turn. And some forces don't just move things. They can change how they look or feel. If you squeeze a sponge, it gets flat. If you stretch a rubber band, it gets longer. That's a force changing the shape of something. So now you know, forces can do a lot. They can start motion, stop it, change how fast something goes, change its direction, or even change its shape. Next time you're playing or building, think about what your hands are doing. You're using forces all the time.